Good morning. Welcome to a steel job today. And so uh, that's it. It's out. Like Dad says, you never know what you find till you start digging. And good morning. Welcome to a, another steel job today. We are inside on this lovely day and today's job, as I said, is a steel job. Under there somewhere, there is a beam that needs taken out because if I remember right, Dad said there's going to be some doors going in here and there's a beam here at the right height but over on this side, there's not. It's just being boxed in. So we're taking up all this, finding the beam and getting a nice big RSJ put in. And as you can see, we're actually looking very organized. As you listen from the clip before the little intro, we've um, cut the steel ready, uh, cut it to size. And what you didn't see is we've also cut the pad stone ready as well. So. All that stuff is ready, we shouldn't need that today, which is good. Uh, morning. Morning. Friday. I'll uh, pass you over to uh, the maestro once he's got, uh, once he's settled. Customers also been very helpful as to get all the stuff covered up for us. This was all, this was all them. And they just put on the uh, towels under the door, so that's always a massive help, so thank you very much. Over to the main man. Right. I don't know if that was just showing you all this, but here's all the gear in. Two, acro two more acros, three more acros to come in. Um, here's our little PPE section. These, um, these are brilliant. Use these all the time now from from um, M Store. Riley safety glasses, really good stuff. And then there's the gloves. They're great gloves then. They last a hell of a long time. They last that long, sometimes you need to wash them. And then these masks, I think they're by trend. They're absolutely fantastic. They're a bit cumbersome at first, but um, because of the way they're built, they have filters in here, uh, changeable filters. But when you've got that on, you can wear it all day. And your breathing is not restricted in the slightest. With, with the fabric mass, when you get a bit wet, they, they tend to pop up a bit. And, but then you can wear them all day, no problem. Um, yeah, so um, what's happening is this, where this beam is, this is the old front of the house. This porch has been added on. Front door used to be there where Alex is. <coughs> And apparently, the customer says there's a beam here, a wooden beam, with a brick arch over it. <coughs> and when the porch is built, they put steel in here, or a, whatever, a concrete beam, whatever. I don't know what it is yet to be level up. But um, this was put in at the same height as the. No, it was, put, it was put up higher. So this has been boxed in level. So what we're doing is taking this wooden beam out steel in but lifting it up so that all this boxing can be taken out basically so they can put a door on here it's too too low for a door at the moment so um yeah that's the plan and there's um, a bit of patching to do this plaster needs coming off and um, he said this brick works a bit ropey there so he wants us to patch up there so again we don't know what, to, what we're going to find till we start digging that plaster off so Alex got everything in Strong boys, acros, steel's in the van. I can't zoom in, but there you go. The steel we um, <clears throat> we picked up yesterday and cut to length in the garden. Sorry, on the drive. And we also cut the pad stones down yesterday so that we're, we're all set. So there's our pad stones. I think they're 230, aren't they? So, yeah, yeah. so 230 mil. And so 150 is your minimum, so 230, we're well over with that. Always like to go a bit over. 150 doesn't look too big when you see it. So yeah, um, we're here, we're set up, and we're ready to go. So let's see how today pans out. So we'll see you in the 
back to the old time lapse again. made a little work of that <laughs> so knocked all this out and you can see the stone arch there but we've got that one exposed and if we head around here we've also got the steel exposed which we're going to be building up to so looks like there's how much we're picking it up by maybe like a course in a bit but this was uh, how it was flushed up so we could get uh, boxed in. Just uh, <laughs> planted a bit of uh, timber in. There you go. <laughs> that one, yep, yeah, that one's just as loose. There we go. Well, now we've got a proper look at where we're picking up. So yeah, th this side is nice and sturdy, whereas this side is uh, not so much how they've got expanding foam in the corners, but we're going to be propping up just above where we need to be building. I think, actually no, I think we're going to prop the arch and just rebuild this stronger. It's either a concrete or a stone arch, that. Yeah. It was brick on this side, so this was like, this was like an entrance. I think it used to be open in there, like an open porch. Not sure because it's like a few years old, so it's like an um, archaeological dig when you start taking stuff back, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, anyway, enough rambling. Let's continue. Okay. You right? Okay. That'll do for now, just at the front door. There we go. Two meters, 600? Yep. Yeah. I'm not sure what size it is. It looks about 180 that by 100. It looks wooden as well with this paintwork. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's what's going in, which is far better than what's already in on that side, which is just the uh, box section. So, um, oh yeah, um, this piece of timber is coming out. I don't know what it's screwed to. So I'm gonna whip that out. And look at the width of that beam. It's about 70, 80 mil wide. Why? The tape there, Alex. Tape, um, it's there. So we've got 72 by 125. I mean, it's not holding much up because the arch is above it, but our steel's going to be holding the arch up, so nice, solid job. So I've just got to move my van now because some tree surges have arrived. So let's get the van shifted and then we're going to get, get the props in and start making more mess. Alex is just going to clear this up first so we're not standing all the shite. Got the bags. We've got about 100 Fairwoods bags. So yeah, catching a bit. So, by the time I'm back, this will all be gone. <gasps> Whoa. Presto. Five nice little light bags of uh, plaster. So, Dad also, while we were doing that, has unscrewed this off. That's all it was. Show this little bit of filling in. 
It's the old, the old crazy foam again. Obviously, it's not, it's not doing much. Well, I'm not sure really because it depends how much they've taken out of the arch. Then it looks like a concrete arch, but they've just stay. Uh, this is all, all loose. But that's all it is. It's just this, this gap. So we're coming up a course. We're going to lose a course of brick. So we'll probably keep these top pieces and then gobble it all back up. But obviously we're going to have to take a section out of this, the end of the arch here, just to undermine it. And the other end I think might be the same, because our steel's coming 230. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, so we're um, going to get the props in and get all this stuff out. Take it from there. It works out above it. We'll just show you what's going on. We've not propped it yet. Theoretically, we don't need to prop it because the arch goes across both skins, and this lintel's already in holding it this side up. So <clears throat> we could do it unpropped, but we're not going to because we're going to cut into the arch here, so it's no longer working as an arch on this side. You can see they've already cut into the arch on that side. I think, looking at it, it's a brick arch, just, con just like, um, it's either a concrete arch or it's a brick arch that's been rough cast, so you cut into it at that end as well. So we need to get a couple of props under, especially where the bloody crack is. And, um, I mean, it's not going to go anywhere because it's all, it's all built up on the side. So um, we're going to work out how high we're going with it, cut out for our pad stones, whip this out and then get um, properly Actually, yeah, we'll, um, what we normally do is put the steel in and prop it up, but this is going to be the opposite. We're going to get the pad stones in, sit the steel straight on the pad stones and then build up on top of that, which is like the opposite way around what we normally do, but it's, it's actually easier. Um, it means it's a solid job with the, onto the pad stones then. So, um, yeah, we'll, um, we'll get, get, get the props in now and we'll take it from there. Right, just to put into context how well this job's going, Alex just said, should we go for lunch? Because we've like, got it all the brickwork out and it's propped. Pop but it's the start until it's half ten. Half ten. We're a bit ahead of ourselves. So we're all propped. We've got a little brick wedge in there. So it's nicely propped. That's on the top of the arch. That's on the far side of the crack in the arch. So it's all, it's all held. Not going anywhere anyway, because this is double skin arch. Still, still, yeah, it's looking like a concrete, concrete arch, but anyway, um, this side, it's coming up a course. I don't think we're going to have to cut into the arch at this end. We've got a full course where we can go back here. And it's just my end where we'll need to do a bit of nibbling because we're coming up to about here. Still I hope I haven't put the acro in too low. We'll measure that. Might have to move this acro. Um, yeah, so as you can see, pass the hammer, mate. Let's take this foam out, show what this is doing. Yeah, right. that's just following me. Stick me right in the chest. Oh. 
quick echo incident there falling on me. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's what it's held by. Like I say, it's supporting itself, but it's still not ideal, is it? And it's cracked to hell. So um, I'll just measure this gap here and check we're high enough up with that acro. So catching a bit. There we go. Alex is um, taking the um, opening back. There's a, there is a bit to come out the arch there. Not unlike my end, where there's a lot to come out. Right across here. All the way across there, down there. So it's quite a lump coming out of that. And then I just wanted to show you the um, the, uh, the wonky lintel has had a wedgie. There you go. That's what's holding it up. So, uh, that's it. It's out. That didn't take much, did it? So, um, yeah, we're going to drop this out now and then um, start knocking the hole out of this with the Titan. Making a mess and a noise like the other one out there. So, Well, that was hard. <laughs> Is the pad still just sitting on that? No. Um,
So there you have it, that is ready for steals now, so we're going to have an early lunch and uh, just get, get, we're going to get a small mix on and just get all this in. A uh, slight miscalculation on the steel, that plaster is thicker than I thought, I allow 25mm, so we're going to have 175 seating, we're still going to have a 230 pad steel, it's going to, the steel is going to sit on 175 each side, so it's still 25mm more than the minimum. Right, it is after lunch and we're getting that mix on. I've also cleaned out 12 bricks just to uh, do any of the patching up. So, not really much else to say. So once that mix is in, we're going to get that in. Get that bloody steel in. When I'm fettling down at the top, you're going to take that plaster off at the bottom and you see what's what. Just there. Just through the door. Let's take that skating board off the, the dummy one, the white one, and not the plastic. Just okay. It's a bit ropey down there, so. Right, I need a few more bricks, I don't know what's behind this. I might as well do that now then. Yeah, okay. Well, after some investigation, I can't really see much wrong with that. It's blocks are in alright, the blocks look okay, it's bonded, so I don't think any of that needs replacing. It's bone dry as well, so there's no damp issues yeah. with it. Yeah, so I think that's all good. How come they uh, needed it looking? The outside was a mess, he said, it needed re-bricking. Alright, oh, so they just assumed the inside would be the same, yeah. right? Oh well, whoever did the inside knew what they were doing. Yes. So there we go. I'll uh, tidy up the mess I've just made. Right, I just need to go in there, please, mate. Get it, Alright, so is your mix ready? Not ready to go yet. Happy days. So, let's get, let's get you set up then so you can watch us put this steel in. So there we go, that's the last uh, little bit of slab in, so once that pad stone's in, that one, yeah. it's time for the steel, so we'll get you set up and film this. The, um, these are also level, that's level, the pillars are at a level, so this piece here, we've got a 14mm piece of pure slate in there, so that's solid. That is nice and solid, and as you can see as well, all the gaps and stuff, Dad's been uh, repointing it just to add a bit more strength. So yeah, we're... Once that pad stone's in, we'll get that steel in and get this smashed out. So our best route is um, bring it in this way. Then we can back it in and to go back up there. Mm -hmm.
cup. We interrupt this steel movement. Can't hear you. We interrupt the steel movement for Dad's ice cream. <laughs> we want that at a low angle. On a low angle. Yeah. All right. Okay. Just until we get it in. <sighs> Man wants to go in. Okay, cool. It won't go in. Okay, slide it to you first. Then we'll get over that bit. How's that? Still not in enough. This here you need to be looking up. I'm nowhere near with any of it. It's stuck out that way and it's not plumb. Okay. And it's stuck. Your screws have fell out as well. I think they're, they're not helping it. Right, come to the then. Go on, go As soon as we move it that way, it's going to pop out. It won't. It, that's what it was doing before. That's 35. It's 35 now. So, hang on. I'll leave, I'll leave it, mate. Okay. Hmm? I'll leave it. You just steady it. Okay. I'll move it. Ready? Stay in case it's gone wobbly. Right, I've got 200. Good for height. Yeah. Yeah. 180. Okay, so. 10 mil. 10 mil. Ready? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That. Let's just push it. Try that now. 190. Um, 200 mil, got it. So this just needs packing on the front of this. Just needs packing tight like that. Yeah, we've all got a hell of a but I do want to find something to pack it.
that is one more steel job to tick off the box. Now that one was, it was 50-50, like at the beginning it went very well, but um, the steel tried to put up a bit of a fight, but other than that, I think it was, I would say this was a pretty, pretty good job. Yeah. Um, we're just... Uh, an enjoyable steel job, that was, that was okay. That. Yeah, as far as steel jobs go. Felt more like a lentil job, the, the methods we were using, but... Wish all the steels were heavy. I know, yeah. That was nice and light. Yeah. All packed up, blocked up. Obviously, uh, Nice big seating, even yep. bigger pad stone. And then we're just dumping our mortar down here because there was a bit of the customer wanted us to look under the floorboards too for any damages and there's just a few gaps so we're just gonna fill that up with mortar. Very nice looking uh, mosaic floor under there as well. Like dad says you never know what you find until you start digging. I wonder if there'll be a bigger swimming pool in here like that Instagram video. <laughs> but there you go that is the end of another one so thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more like this, be sure to hit subscribe and to be notified. Tap on the bell, then you'll always know when we upload. It's always a great help for the channel. We greatly appreciate all the support. This has been Brooklyn with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next video.